Hey guys, good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of Metis Interviews Sunny. Uh, Sunny Waynes are one of our trusted partners. Sunny is the founder and CEO of Essence Wealth and Insurance Services. Today we're gonna play uh, something like 20 questions. I'm gonna ask Sunny a little bit about, uh, you know, who he is, um, how he got into financial services, uh, where his, uh, where he cultivated his experience, and uh, where he is today, and where he wants to take his company. Uh, so first things first, um, Sunny Wang is Sunny Wang your first and real name? You know, uh, no, it's, uh, it's definitely not. Uh, my Chinese name is Shui, uh, S H U A I, Shui, yeah. and my last name is Wang. And that, that sounds Chinese. Is, is that it is? You know, from from whereabouts China is that? I know China's um, a big province with a lot of little ones. Uh, where, where 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 did you come from? Uh, northeast of China. And they're cold. What's the province called? Uh, Jilin. Super. And 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 did you spend a lot of time there, or you kind of moved around? Yeah, I pretty much grew up there. Um, I grew up there until I was sixteen. And I, then I moved to uh, uh, southern China, a place called Shenzhen. Super. How's life in Shenzhen's changed quite a bit oh, these yeah. days, oh, right? Yeah. I mean, it's a big uh, manufacturing uh, yes. area, yes. right? I mean, predominantly produces all of Silicon Valley's goods, including the wow. one that yeah. we're filming on today, right? Pretty much. Is that, that, that where so. Shenzhen is? Yeah. yeah, it's right across the border of uh, China and uh, uh, Hong Kong. Um, Awesome. So, uh, when did you immigrate to the United States? Uh, 1997. And then, uh, what did you do for the first few years while you were here and on your path to, you know, uh, you know, what were you doing here and then how did you uh, get into financial counseling and advising? So, uh, you know, I, I started, um, it's funny that, you know, I was 19 years old when I, when I first came to the States and uh, uh, the next day my mom just took me to work and uh, put me to, basically put me to work. Uh, as a babysitter <laughs> so um, so you know I had to start working and the second day I you know I'm in the US and since then I never stopped working it just taught you work ethic and yeah you know, pretty much uh, she said uh, yeah you know what uh, you, you need to you need to start learning English and the best way to learn English is from uh, learning from kids so um, there you go you get to work make money and learn English. So, so when did I meet you? You came here. You were nineteen. I probably met you when you were like nineteen or twenty. You right? Something like I that. I was nineteen. Yeah. Was Holy 19, cow! Yeah. But your English was pretty good there. You didn't have an accent. Thanks. I couldn't really tell. You didn't know any of like the um, much of the slang or much of the you know uh, non English words we <laughs> used, and that took you a while. But you know your basic English and you had that down pat. Um, so from, from 19, uh, you know, working as a babysitter and working, I know you did a few retail jobs, uh, and then you went to, then you went to college, right? You finished up college here, right? Yeah. Um, so you went to college actually right over there somewhere, yep. right? San Jose State, you know. I, um, um, I actually started uh, learning English first. Uh, when I first came here, I didn't speak a word of English, so, and I took a placement test at Foothill College the lowest ESL class we can take. So they told me to go to the Mountain View Adult School to learn English. And that's why I started learning English. I, uh, I took another placement test there. The second lowest class took me. Um, and that's where, uh, that's when I started. And I was there for one year. After that, I transferred to Foothill College and started learning uh, advanced uh, ESL classes, you know, taking ESL classes. Um, and from there, you know, I graduated with an AA degree and uh, transferred to San Jose State. Uh, I finished with a uh, business administration, uh, concentrating in uh, finance. Super. So are you still taking ESL classes or you pretty much got <laughs> that down pat? <laughs> Maybe I should, huh? <laughs> There's so much room to improve. <laughs> Um, English is a fun language. It's always yeah. evolving. It's exactly. always changing. Exactly. Um, especially, you know, you got all these pop artists and recording artists, you oh know, throwing God. out new words, you know, stuff that we can't even keep up with these days. Uh, yeah. uh, but that brings us, you know, after college, you got into uh, financial advising. I knew you worked a long time at Northwestern Mutual. Yeah. Uh, that's where a lot of financial advisors cut their teeth. We think they have one of the best uh, training programs yeah. uh, in the nation, right? Yeah. Um, and then. Man, you were there like for a long time, right? I was there for nine years. I uh, started as an intern. Um, when I was still going to college, I got recruited by, by them. And at the time, I was learning um, about 
about finance in school, and uh, I decided, you know, I wanted to concentrate on uh, personal finance, and that's that's uh, um, that's what I wanted to do after I graduate. Uh, so I had an opportunity while I was in school uh, to work for this company, um, uh, Northwestern Mutual, and uh, um, when I when I started working there, I was uh, still a college kid, you know. I graduated a couple years later. I turned full time. So, in total, you know, I, I was there for nine years actually. Yeah. And that's, uh, I mean, that's that's way above the cut. I mean, most people don't make it their first summer, never less year. Right. Um, I mean, you've been one of the top producers, and you know, you you've uh, ran that program for a long time. Uh, what are some of the highlights of your career? I mean, what's the most rewarding aspect of, of your uh, of what you do? Um, you know. I, I, you know, after years working in the industry, I finally, just a few years ago, I finally figured out why I'm in this business. I figured out my purpose in life uh, and uh, what my passion is. So, um, just to mention that, you know, uh, after nine years in Northwestern, you know, I decided to go independent. So, uh, I'm currently an independent financial advisor. Um, so I don't work for any companies anymore. Go ahead anymore. and plug in your uh, your new company, your current company. Yeah, it's uh, it's called the Essence Wealth and uh, Insurance Services. So uh, we're a uh, holistic planning uh, firm. Uh, we don't just do um, investments or insurance. You know, we we focus on holistic planning. So um, we help people with their finances, like um, uh, insurance, investments, retirement, education and estate planning, tax strategies, and all that stuff, so. So, yeah, what are the rewards? I mean, you had, you have, uh, obviously people associate financial advising with like, you know, life insurance salesmen, and, and you know, the idea of selling life insurance for a product that is not utilized till one passes away, I think that's one of the toughest jobs you could have in this world, but um, outside of that, I mean, were there any, was there, a breakthrough or epiphany in your career um, that you know uh, you just sat around and, and say now hey I, I, I just love uh, what I yeah, do. Yeah right yeah so you know in the very beginning you know um, I it's a tough work it's very tough in the beginning um, you know it's a sales job in the beginning you know when I was working at Northwestern and, uh, and that's all I learned and, uh, I was mainly focusing insurance but you know, I, I was very, I'm very grateful. Uh, I had that experience, you know, it, because they taught me how important you know protection is. Um, and until this day, I spent, you know, I still emphasize on uh, protections, you know, such as life insurance, disability income insurance, long-term care insurance. So, uh, you know, normally, you know, you, uh, you know, a lot of companies, you know, if you work for uh, uh, what we call the big wirehouse like uh, Merrill Lynch and Morgan Stanley, they don't really teach you that kind of stuff. Uh, it's mostly investments. So, uh, so I'm, I'm grateful that I learned all that, you know. And but you know, after years, you know, in the, in the beginning, I really didn't know what I was doing. I just wanted to do something, you know, that's uh, related to what I studied. You know, my my goals were to become a financial advisor, and um, um, and also, um, uh, you know, I need to get paid. So <laughs> in the beginning, you know, I just really didn't know. It's always important, right? Right. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to pay bills, right? So. You know, in the beginning, you know, we really, I really didn't know why I was doing the job, you know. Uh, but, you know, people, you know, the, the more experienced uh, uh, agents and advisors kept telling us, you know, you're in this business to help people. So, um, you know, I understand that, you know, uh, helping people makes you feel great, you know. So, um, but I didn't really understand it, I have to say. But years later, you know, I finally figured out, you know, um, this is what I make for. You know, I'm, I'm on this uh, planet, you know, in this world. You know, I'm made for the purpose of to help people with their finances, with their money issues. Uh, and uh, as soon as I realized that, um, I started developing this uh, strong passion for what I do. And I start, I, it used to hate my job, believe it or not, <laughs> you know. Um, but then, you know, once I started feeling that, you know, this is what I do for a living as a passion. Um, and I started loving what I do. And once you start loving what you do, you enjoy it. And, uh, you know, people can see it, actually, you know. It's strange that people can see how passionate about, you know, you, how passionate you are with your jobs. 
I think that definitely speaks to uh, myself and, and our team. I mean, when we started Metis, the, um, our, our goal was, was really to, to help everyone out there. That we thought the public deserved a much better real estate brokerage and a real estate company. And that's what we set forth to provide. I think today our, our product is fantastic, our clients are incredibly happy, and the life experiences we've been able to afford um, our clients has uh, literally been life-changing. Um, but uh, as you see, yeah, this is this is Sunny from, uh, gosh, a past 20, oh. 20 years <laughs> snapshot, right, of Essence Wealth and his career, you know, how he came from China to the U.S., uh, cut his teeth, and then now has his own very successful uh, wealth management firm. Um, but he's not so big, and his ego's not big enough to not work with uh, us and a lot of our clients. Uh, a lot of clients enjoy Sunny Services. A lot of them have become lifelong clients of his through the process. If you want to know more about Sunny and what he does, go online and go into www.essencewealth.com. Um, I'll also have his contact information linked below. Uh, if you want any other additional real estate uh, questions or if you have any financial questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, shoot us a private message. Give us a thumbs up if you learned a few things, if you <laughs> like Sunny. Uh, two thumbs up if you like Sunny. And then uh, we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thank you. Thank you.